Okay guys, more logic tips. Um, in this one, I'm just going to quickly show you how to make an Apple loop. All right. Um, Apple loops, they live in the Apple loop library here. And when you drag an Apple loop on, on, into your project, it automatically adjusts its speed to fit the project tempo. Right. So here I've got a drum loop. This is from the previous tip where I showed you how to make the project tempo fit a loop, right? This is a two bar drum loop. Okay, it doesn't matter whether your loop is one bar long, two bars long, four bars long, but it has to loop around perfectly, all right? And then um, you just bring up the shortcut menu for this loop region, and you do that by either right-clicking on it, or if, like me, your right-click is assigned to your toolbox, then you control left-click on the region, right? So bring up the shortcut menu for the region, export, add to loop library, boom. Now this dialog box appears. Now all you have to concern yourself with is giving it the title you want, and I'm going to call it um, Breakbeat 2, right? And you need to make sure this is ticked as loop. Now the other stuff isn't that important. You, you know, if, it, if this um, loop is with something like a bass line or a guitar riff or something, you could choose whether it's a major or minor or whatever. Um, you can give it a genre if you want. You can give it a descriptor here if you want. Like I could call, give this the descriptor of all drums, beats. And here you can give it whatever this is, like a mood, you know, intense, dark, dry, grooving or whatever. You don't have to do any of that. But you must make sure this is tick loop and give it a title. And then you just do create. Boom. And there's a little pause. Beach ball happens. That's it. It's done. Okay. Now to find it, you go to your loops, Apple loops here, and at the top here, you can choose my loops. You could search for it. You could search for breakbeat two, like I just called it, but you can go to my loops. And these are all your loops that you've made. Okay. And there it is, breakbeat two. Right? And that's it. Simple as that. So now I can set my tempo to anything. Okay, the tempo, the, the natural tempo of this loop is 98 beats per minute. It perfectly cycles around a two bar cycle range at 98 beats per minute. But let's change the tempo to 120. This loop now does not fit its two bar cycle range. But bring in the Apple loop, boom, like that, and it adjusts its speed automatically to fit the tempo 120. And uh, so it speeds itself up. If I speed up the tempo, 140, it'll speed up even more. Slow the tempo down, something really slow like 80, it'll slow itself right down. Okay, there you go. That's how to make an Apple loop, and they're very useful. Now there's one very important thing to note. If you're going to export an audio region as a loop, then that audio region has to, if it's one bar long, it has to fit a one bar cycle range. If it's a two bar loop, it has to fit a two bar cycle range. If it's a four bar loop, it has to fit a four bar cycle range. So the project tempo has to be adjusted so that the loop, whether it's one bar, two bars, four bars, whatever, fits a one bar, two bar, or four bar, etc. cycle range. Right? Look, if I adjust the tempo for the project here and make it 100 beats per minute, now this two bar loop no longer cycles around a two bar cycle range because we've changed the tempo, right? So the loop doesn't fit a two bar cycle range anymore. So if I bring up the shortcut menu now and do export add to loop library, I can't choose loop, it's grayed out. And when you mouse over that, it says, will be disabled if the region length does not match a whole number of beats, right? So it's very important that the project tempo has to be set so that your one bar loop fits a one bar cycle range or your two bar loop fits a two bar cycle range etc so we have to set the project tempo to fit the loop first so this is a two bar loop i put a two bar cycle range around it double click open it in file edit function adjust tempo by selection and locators globally the project tempo has now been adjusted so the loop two bars long fits a two bar cycle range now if I bring up the menu and export to loop library I can choose loop okay now to see how you get the project tempo to fit your loop 
watch the previous tip where I explain it in more detail, okay? Including how to get this file edit window which you need to adjust the tempo of the project to fit the loop, all right? But that's very important, okay? And then once you've done that, you create the upper loop as I showed you.